Hello there, and welcome to Five Figures. Um, so I haven't made a lot of five figure videos in a long time, but um, there's a few that I just, I, I don't know, I missed making them, they're kind of fun to make. Uh, just picking some random stuff out of the collection. Uh, I don't recall ever doing these before or having these in any videos, but uh, maybe, who knows. Uh, odds are probably good with this guy because uh, I have two of these, and that's what I, I was kind of amazed. After all of the Marvel Legends I got rid of and sold, and you know, I, I sold hundreds. <laughs> I had a lot, a lot, a lot of them. And I, yet I still have a lot of them. This guy is still in the collection. In fact, there's two of them in the collection. And I thought that was crazy, because I was like, this, is, this guy was from a terrible line, but it's actually quite a good figure. Uh, he, he just really, really calls back to like 50s sci-fi. He looks like something you'd see in like a 40s comic book or something like that. And plus a little bit Roman Centurion. And I'm trying to think of his name. I want to say it's like the original Captain Marvel or something like that. But I, I just was impressed that I had two. He's just kind of a generic space looking guy. Uh, but not a terrible figure, oddly enough. So I was glad. Wait, he's got one stiff arm there. But yeah, so I was like, hey. Or I can't. I think his name was Marvel, Captain Marvel. Before, like, before it was all, you know, Captain Marvel was ruined. The only thing I don't like is he is very wobbly right at the top there. Like, oof, that's not good. And maybe a little bit of wobble in the ab crunch, too. But he does have a nice ab crunch. I want to say this is, what, the Bucky Cat body? I can't remember. It seems like every figure they kept making with it, it just kept getting more and more wobbly. But that's what it is. Uh, next up, I have my least favorite Fortnite skin I've ever seen in my life. This is Fishstick. I don't know why I hate this skin so much. Uh, these came out in like season eight or nine. And they were little, they were with the pirate season with all the treasure and everything. And these things were running around everywhere. And if you're, if you're familiar at all with Fortnite or their figures, this one is from Jazzwares. Um, Jazzwares doesn't make them anymore. Now they're made by Hasbro. I kind of think they're better quality, but they have a lot less doodads. So like Jazzwares would give you uh, three or four faces, multiple back blings, weapons. All, I mean, that's a ton of stuff. They'd fill that box. Um, the only thing that I hated was that they put hand articulation on all the figures and toe articulation. So this made uh, them holding their weapons almost impossible like so difficult and you know you about have to glue them in place and they drop their stuff all the time it's a royal pain and like I said these come with multiple faces they would change out I just never liked the fish guy I never liked fish stick and I, I kind of like jazzwares were killing it but I just wish they had cut out the hand and toe articulation that was a huge detriment Anyway, this skin's name was Fishstick. There's been tons of variations on him since then. There's even a Thor or an Aquaman version of him. Very odd thing to have, but uh, next up, this is a Motu Classics Batrock. I think, Batrock, Bat Batrock? Yeah, I think it was Batrock. So I love Motu Classics. I thought uh, Mattel did a much better, ver better job than Super 7 does. You get better leg articulation. Um, there was just a lot that was better. You get an upper thigh cut on these that you do not get on the Mattel stuff. And just the sculpting, the four horsemen were doing all the sculpting for Mattel. And you can certainly tell uh, there's more love put into this than, than Super 7 does. Plus, you know, I thought, man, these were expensive at 25 bucks and Super 7 is, you know, by, by the time you get one of them home, you're, you're like an easy 50, 45, 50. And I'm just, you know, for a shittier figure, I'm not there. And these were great in their time. And I will still go back and look at for these occasionally, but uh, most of the new Super 7 stuff I am not interested in at all. Um, and then last but not least, uh, these have always been a mystery to me because they are so, so similar. Guys, guys, knock it off. Just stand there. Shut up. Fish stick. Lean. Lean, my man. Okay. So, you can tell. This is Chun-Li. This is, uh... Oh, who made these? Um, Playmates? Who made the X-Men stuff? 
Toy Biz. Toy Biz. That's who did it. Marvel. 1998 Toy Biz. And this one is... Capcom. 1998 Toy Biz. But there's a there's an amazing similarity between these. So you can see in the arm, I think the arm is like a re-sculpt from here to here. They added um, a sleeve on here. But the arm is identical. Now, the fist hand is also the same. They added shoulder pads, but the curvature of the arms and everything is the same. The upper torso is fairly similar, except that Vindicator has way, way more ridiculously larger boobs. You can see what I'm talking about there. But the waists are very similar. Uh, Chun-Li has a much larger head, which kind of makes it more proportionate with the body. Vindicator looks a little on the ridiculous side. And then the legs have the same posed type movement, poise, like so. Definitely the, I'm going to lift up her flap there. The way these were designed is identical, but almost like, I don't know, it's like they remolded over top of it. I never quite understood how. And then this one has, of course, larger boots, feet, and more details and stuff like that. But I was like, how could these be so, so similar and yet different action figures? And I had this figure first and it was years later, I got the Vindicator, I think. I think it was the Vindicator came later. And I was like, um, oh my gosh, she feels just like Chun-Li, but different somehow. Like, I'm not sure. And I, I got the figures together finally, and it took me forever to kind of like really compare. But as similar as they are, there's so many structural differences. And I was like, how are they so similar, but yet I don't think they're the same mold. For years, I thought they were the same mold. But I mean, even look at the hands. They're similar, but not, not the same. So I'm guessing they probably used parts of it, but maybe altered other parts of it, but also made it keep the exact same pose, pre-posed, slight step back, angle on the foot, you know, to do that half step thing. Um, same waist piece, same waist rotation and articulation. But as you can see, they did a lot more work on Chun-Li. Um, just, a, just a weird thing to notice. I've always considered these two to be like sister figures, even though they are run out from a different uh, properties at different times there's a huge similarity to them. I just always thought it was weird because I was like, did they remold different parts or how did they do that? But either way, I wanted to have both those. Vindicator, Chun-Li, um, and they are a pain, a royal pain to get to stand, maybe. All right, he is, he is massive enough, he can hold them. Anyway, that's my five figures for the day. Hope you liked it. If you do, uh, leave, a, leave a like or a comment. If you hated it, leave a like and a comment. And I will catch you guys later. That's my story. Bye.